Tuloy. Eight, nine, ten. Maybe out seven forty. What you are about to witness is a video illustrating the step-by-step -step essential newborn care protocol developed by the Department of Health. This protocol adopts international evidence-based standards set by the World Health Organization. They directly address the Millennium Development Goal of reducing child mortality. The Philippines is among 42 countries that accounts for 90% of deaths among children below 5 years of age globally. Studies have shown that 70% of newborn deaths may be averted during labor, delivery, and immediately postpartum. In short, it is in the first few seconds and minutes of life that every newborn Filipino is given the chance to survive and to have a better life. During those first few moments, in the arms of a mother, during the first embrace, sa unang yaka. For this training video, take note of the running time displayed at the left-hand corner of the screen. This indicates the period within which the protocol must be carried out. Let's start with the preparation. Lay out three pairs of surgical gloves, two of which will be used by the obstetrician and the remaining pair for the pediatrician. Two warm blankets, a bonnet, cord care set, the erythromycin, vitamin K, and hepatitis B shot. Wash your hands following the prescribed one, two, three, four, five counts for each movement. Put on both sets of gloves. This is the double gloving step. During the first three minutes within birth, here are the correct procedures prescribed by the Essential Newborn Care Protocol. Maybe out 7.40. Once the baby is delivered from the perineum, call out the time of birth. Use the first linen to towel dry the body of the newborn. Dry the baby for at least 30 seconds. This will stimulate the baby to breathe. Do not wipe off the vernix, as this continues to provide a natural protective cover for the baby. Do not wash the baby within his first six hours of life. Washing could lead to hypothermia and infection. Carry out a rapid assessment of the baby's breathing as you dry the newborn. Remove the wet cloth. Initiate the all-important skin-to-skin contact by placing the baby prone on the mother's abdomen or between her breasts. Place the bonnet on the newborn's head and use the second linen to cover the baby's back, both to keep the infant warm. The next step is removing the first set of gloves prior to handling of the cord. Do not cut the cord immediately. Allow the cord pulsations to stop without milking the cord. Clamp the cord at 2 centimeters from the base of the umbilicus. Apply the second clamp at 5 centimeters from the base of the umbilicus. Cut the cord. Waiting for 1 to 3 minutes or until the cord pulsations have stopped prevents anemia and protects preterms from intraventricular hemorrhages. Inject 10 IU of oxytocin into the mother's arm to prevent uterine atony. While maintaining the skin-to-skin -skin contact, check on the mother's condition and deliver the placenta. Check how heavy her bleeding is and examine her perineum, lower vagina and vulva for tears. Clean the mother and keep her comfortable. Skin-to-skin -skin contact, or SSC, is essential to creating the bond between mother and child, increasing the chances of overall success of breastfeeding. 
allows colonization with good bacteria, protects the baby from hypoglycemia. At about 30 minutes to an hour after birth, the baby will start licking, rooting and tonguing movements, cues that he is ready to breastfeed. Encourage the mother to nudge her newborn toward the breast to seek out the nipple. Counsel on positioning and attachment. After the baby completes his first breastfeed and detaches from the breast, while he is with his mother, carry out the eye care procedures and administer vaccines. Let the infant remain in the mother's arms as she recovers from giving birth. The newborn stays with the mother as she is brought to her room or the ward. The baby may be washed after at least six hours. The Global Infant and Young Child Feeding Strategy recommends giving the baby nothing but breast milk for six months. After six months of exclusive breastfeeding, the child can continue to breastfeed in addition to other foods up to two years of age or beyond. To summarize, here are the step-by-step -step methods outlined in the Essential Newborn Care Protocol Drying for at least 30 seconds with rapid assessment of breathing and tone. Early SSC or skin-to-skin -skin contact. Proper cord clamping. Early breastfeeding initiation. Eye care injections after completion of the first breastfeed. Rooming in. Exclusive breastfeeding for six months. As we adopt and embrace the principles of essential newborn care, we are closer to attaining the Millennium Development Goal of reducing child mortality in the country. As we, health professionals in maternal and newborn care, give each newborn a better chance at health and survival. It will mean changing how we move forward. It means doing things differently using protocols that are evidence-based and time-bound to sustain new life for those first few precious moments in the life of a newborn, in the life-giving embrace of the mother. Unang yakap, yakap ng ina, yakap ng buhay.